The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to create a perfect step function using the charting tools built into Microsoft Excel. The data that I have here is the federal funds target rate as set by the Federal Reserve Open Market Committee and the dates that those targets were changed. Normally to chart data series like this we would select the data, go into the chart wizard and create an XY scatter chart. However, when we do that, the resulting chart looks exactly like this one here. Instead, what we would prefer is a chart that shows that the Fed funds rate is constant for a period of time and then steps upwards or perhaps downwards and then is constant and then changes again and so on. In other words, the resulting chart should look like a stair step. To change this chart into a step function, we need to have uh, a little bit more data. And in particular, what we need to have is two y values, these is our y axis here, for each x axis value where there is a change. To achieve this, I will simply insert a new row. This gives me space to add my new Y value, my new Fed Funds target rate. To do that, I'm going to use a simple formula. I'm going to copy the date from above, which is my X value. So I have the X value twice. And then I'm going to copy the Fed Funds target rate from below, that is the rate that it changed to. Notice the effect on the chart. Instead of being a straight line going up, I now have a perfectly vertical line followed by a perfectly horizontal line. This is the first step in my step function chart. To finish the chart, I merely continue along doing the same thing for each data point. To speed this up, I will select each row Notice that I'm holding down my control key while I'm selecting these rows so that they are selected individually. Then I choose insert rows, which puts a space in between each of my original data points. I'm going to now copy the original set of formulas that I put in. And I'm going to select each of the blank rows, again holding down the control key as I select these discontiguous ranges. I will now paste the formula in and you notice the result is that I get a stair step effect at each point in time where the target rate for the Fed funds changed. So to recap in order to create a step function chart in Excel, we first create an XY scatter chart of the original data. And then at each point where there is a change in the chart, we need to have two Y variables at each point on the X axis. That's what allows us to get these vertical lines in between the changes. I hope that you found this video to be helpful.